friends, it's Miss Heidi here. I'm sitting out in my garden and one of my favorite things to do is to watch the birds that come to my feeder. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own feeder with simple things that you have probably just lying around your house and then you can put it up in a tree and see what kind of birds and creatures come to your feeder. Before I show you how to make it though, I'm going to show you some of the birds that come to mine so you'll know what to look for. This red bird is one of my favorites because he's so beautiful and he's called a cardinal. They love seeds so you usually get a lot of these coming to your feeder. This cute little bird is called a black cap chickadee. They're very little and they make a really fun sound. If you listen carefully, you might hear them calling and they sort of go chickadee, dee, dee. This little bird is called a finch and we get lots and lots of those and they come all winter long. And his relative is this bird. He's called a goldfinch and I think they're very beautiful because they're such a pretty yellow. But in the winter, their color fades, and so they don't look as bright. This little bird is called a nuthatch, and they're super easy to recognize because they walk up and down the branches upside down, just like this little bird is doing. This cute little bird is called a tufted titmouse, and he sounds like such a cute name, but they're actually very greedy birds and like to chase all the other birds off of the feeder. I also get two kinds of woodpeckers. This smaller woodpecker is called a downy woodpecker, and this bigger woodpecker is called a red-bellied woodpecker, which I think is a funny name because his belly isn't red, it's mostly his head. Wait, that's not a bird. You know what that is, that's a squirrel and you're probably gonna get a lot of those on your feeder too. But that's okay, because squirrels need to eat too, and they're kind of funny to watch. But that's mostly the birds I get. Sometimes I get a few different ones, but I'll be interested to see what kind of birds you find on your feeder. Okay, hi friends, are you ready to make your bird feeder now? So here's what you're gonna need. You need an egg carton that's made of paper, and a pair of scissors and some string. And then you also are gonna need the food to put in your feeder for the birds. So I have a couple different things because different birds like different foods, kind of like people like different things. So I have some bird seed that you can just buy at any store probably. I have some sunflower seeds. And then I'm gonna try some chopped apples too because some birds, especially woodpeckers, like fruit. So you might get some neat woodpeckers if you have some fruit there, which is why I'm also gonna try some craisins and then some cashew nuts. Some of the bigger birds will eat cashews and I guarantee you, if you have little squirrels at your feeder, they'll like those too. So first thing you're gonna do is take your egg carton and you're gonna cut this top part off, and then you're gonna cut the egg carton into two pieces. So what you're gonna end up with is two halves like this. Then take your scissors, or get your mom to help you, and poke a little hole in the top of each of these bumps. And then take your piece of string, forgot to cut mine, there we go and start at the top and poke it down through this hole. It's a little tricky sometimes. Pull it out the other side and then push it up through that hole and it'll come up the top and you'll end up with something like this which I just tied a little knot in the top, and now we have a way to hang our feeder. And that is literally all you have to do to make your feeder. So now you're just gonna fill up your little containers with some different foods. So I'm gonna sprinkle some sunflower seeds in this one. I'm gonna put some regular bird seed in this one. I'll do some apples and get 
my, my raisins, put them in that little hole, and then I'll do some of my cashews. You can use anything you have in your in your cabinet. Try different things and see what the birds like. I'll put a couple cashews in that one. Oops, the wind is blowing. And then I might just do some more sunflower seeds in my last container. So that's it. And you are ready to go and hang your feeder up in a tree and watch to see what kind of birds come or squirrels. All right, have fun and let me know what you find. I would love to see some pictures of your birds or just hear from you and let you know what kind of birds you found. All right, have fun. See you later. Here's a picture of my feeder hanging in the tree and I actually just went out and checked and it's completely empty. The birds and squirrels had eaten everything, so I need to refill. Happy bird watching.